Welcome back to the Terminal tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom tables and add them to your personalized dashboard. To see how to create personalized dashboards, to customize them and add charts, you can see the previous videos in this series. So I'm going to start by clicking on my first dashboard and it's going to take me to this new screen, which is empty and I'm going to add charts and tables. So let's say I want to add a very straightforward table that displays the number of new DEX users. I can change the name, select the category, which is going to be decentralized exchanges. And I want to select the metrics that I'm interested to display, which are going to be the new DEX users in the decentralized exchanges. So once I select those two parameters, it reveals a new series of parameters for me to edit. And let's say I'm most interested in the short term changes. So 24 hours and seven days. I limit the number of rows to 10 and I create my new table. It appears in my personalized dashboard. Now I can edit this dashboard, including the tables and charts within it. So I'm going to drag it to make it slightly larger. And maybe I'm most interested in which of the DEXs received the largest number of users in the last seven days. I click on seven days and it reorders the data the way that I want it to. But let's see, I'm not satisfied and I want to add another row of data. I want to investigate if the trend has been sustained over a 30 day period or if it's a new trend. I can click on the title of the table. It takes me again to a new window and I can edit the table in this new window. So I click on edit and I can add 30 day percentage change. When I update the table, you'll see a new row of data has been added. And when I click on 30 days, I can indeed see that Bancor Network has received the largest number of new DEX users, both in a seven day period and in a 30 day period. So there you go, I've created a custom table, added it to my personalized dashboard, and then I've reordered the data to display it the way I want it to. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to create unique combinations of charts and tables using data sets and add them to your personalized dashboard.